Covet. Voted the two-year-old of the season for uh, last season. St. Covert goes in. And Deja Slew, who's the stable mate to Air Seattle, goes up and they're set to run. Ready for the Bill Stutt, the Qantas Bill Stutt stakes. Line good now. Lights on. <coughs> Racing. Out in a pretty good line too. One of the first out, Northwood Plume. This vividly out wide. And there's St. Covert quickly racing up towards the front from an outside gate. And he clears them easily at the 1400 St. Covert. Straight to the front on the rail by two to Miss Vividly and two further back in the race, Northwood Plume. Skipper Region up on the outside and Blevick goes back to the fence. A length and a half further back, obsessed. Over on the inside, then punctual in the last pair. Uh, Dijar Slew, who's gone up on the outside when they go into the back straight of Brilliant Poet. Down the back, 11.50 out. And the leader is St. Covert by two, Miss Vividly. Vividly second, one and a half to Blevick third. Skipper Region caught a little wide going around the outside now third. Blevick inside it. A half further back running fifth is Northwood Plume, about three to Punctual. Obsessed has drifted back a little. It's up on the outside of Punctual and two lengths further back in the race then. Dijar slew and on the inside, brilliant poet. Around the turn at the 850. First 847.5 and it's uncovered by a length. Moving up on the outside now is Miss Vividly from Skipper Region going up to third under pressure. Blevick is right there, fourth on the rail. A length further back in the race, Northwood Plume from Punctual. Further back in the race then Dijar Slew. Obsessed as second last, hard ridden and two lengths. Last of all is Brilliant Poet. Butts and Covert raced away at the 352 in front. Now the stable mate Blevig is out and out after this leader and Covert. Then Northwood Plume back to the fence from Punctual and Obsessed a mile back followed by Skipper Regent. Blevig races quickly now to St. Covert and Northwood Plume got the rails run. Northwood Plume going up on the inside after St. Covert. Further out Blevig. Blevig on the outside races up now. Gets his head in front from St. Covert covered and then punctual Blevick just in front from St Covert coming back but Blevick Blevick a half head St Covert a length and a half away third punctual followed by Northwood Plume a gap on the race to Skipper Regent well back in the race then came at the head of the others Dijar Slew then came well out of its ground there brilliant poet obsessed number two Blevick the winner at 410 140 one St Covert 180 and five punctual 250 Super Tab to Blevick to return 205 and 70. One St. Covert 90 and number five punctual at $1.20. Okay, we can't go back to Brian at the moment. Just coming up at 405. Let's clear the openers there. Number one, Martin Magic in eight, Craig eight. in Sydney for the big race, the, the uh, George Main. Very close finish. They'll soon be off from the 1994 two is George Main. Racing and again Telesto left slowly and drops out a conspicuous last. The West Aussie Wabasso just the leader. Moving up very quickly is March here, and the same can be said for Durbridge. And in the firing line as they settle down Kingston Bay. By golly, there's a few that want to lead here. And as they race about 250, Durbridge in front from Soho Square, March here, Kingston Bay, Wabasso. Law of the Land, and then Brave Warrior Deposition, Navy Seal, Viander Cross. Nobolotto second last, and there must be seven lengths further back to Lesto. On the first corner, 9.50 to go, and Simon Marshall has Durbridge along Soho Square. March here, third, and then Law of the Land, and Brave Warrior going up in between horses, in fact, going through between Law of the Land and Kingston Bay as the speed slows. Then Wabasso on the outside of deposition, no Bellotto. A bit more than a length, Navy Seal, Viander Cross, and Telesto is tacking on. Around about 10 lengths would cover them in the George Maiden 700 to go, and Durbridge. About a length and three quarters as Marshall quickens up again. Second Soho Square, third March here, followed by Brave Warrior, a length of Nobolotto, Law of the Land, Kingston, Bay Wabasso. Then Viander Cross, deposition from Navy Seal and still last Telesto. Homeward bound, 400 out and Durbridge, nearly two Soho Square. March here called upon now, likewise Brave Warrior and two lengths to Nobolotto. Durbridge giving supporters a big sight. He runs to the 200 metres, a length on Brave Warrior. Here comes the Queenslander, March here sticking on well. Durbridge still in front. Brave Warrior can't get him at the moment. Durbridge clinging on from Brave Warrior and March here and Durbridge. Durbridge has beaten Brave Warrior. Little in it between March here and New Zealand's Viander Cross. What a run, Vandy, followed by Nobolotto and then came Deposition Soho Square, Kingston Bay and then Navy Seal followed by Law of the Land, Telesto and Wabasso. On the Super Tab, one Durbridge, five dollars fifteen for the win, one sixty the place, eleven Brave Warrior, one dollar, and those for third, eight March Hare, eighty or number two Viander Cross, one fifty. Twelve dollars on the New South Wales win tote, twelve dollars seventy. In fact, twelve seventy and three sixty. Twelve seventy and three sixty. 
Brave Warrior, nothing if not game, came at him. And he couldn't quite get there. Brave Warrior, number 11, will pay 170. And a photo for third, Viander Cross has flashed home. And if he gets third at $2.70. And the other one, of course, March Hare, number 8, at $1.40. Close issue for third. The thing to like about uh, Viander Cross was the way that he absolutely motored to the post. He, uh, he might just miss out on the third. I think March Hare will just get there. Yes, in fact, he has number eight March Hare at $1.40. 1, 11 and 8 in the two years drafts George Mayne Stakes. Durbridge, a seven-year-old chestnut horse by Durham Ranger from Arcona. Randwick, of course, the scene of one of his great triumphs, an AJC derby. Durbridge trained by Lee Friedman for the Noonamar Stud Syndicate. Managed by Mr. K. Murphy in partnership with Mr. K. Lorenz. The horse was having its 61st start today. 19 wins, 8 seconds, 7 thirds. And add $170,000 of first prize money today to his already magnificent tally prior to the run this afternoon of 3 million and 28, uh, or what was it, 3 million and 28,000, near enough to it. The margins, a short neck by a long neck. A short neck, a long neck. The time was 1.36.23. It was a beautifully judged ride in front by Simon Marshall. Magnificent. 1.36.23. First 800 took 49.3, 49.3. They've zipped home the last 600 in 35.18. 35.18. Another exciting wait for age race. The three-year-old from Queensland, Brave Warrior, you Queenslanders, should be absolutely excited with his performance here today. He's just so, so good. And third March here, well, he seemed to have his chance. And the eye-catching run of the race was by Viander Cross. And if this horse, and it wasn't run to suit him, if this horse is not on the way back, well, I'll be very, very surprised. Of the others, Telesto, well, you've just got to let him win a race now before you come into him. I, I just think he's turned sour. I really do. He comes out slowly. He must have stood the second last horse seven lengths at one point. And I reckon he's dead set getting sour chasing the fields. And he is a stallion. He's not the easiest horse to handle. So a combination of factors, a bit of a worry for his connections. OK, here's the winner returning to the enclosure, Durbridge, and a creditable ride to Simon Marshall. Relays, uh, that's interstate, a break and we'll be back. But Rodney now with... OK, let's update race number six at 4.30. Set Melbourne. Wait for AIDS race for the mares. Lights on, they're off and running. Uh, they jumped away fairly well to one of the first out here, Queen of Melbourne from Gourmet Lady and Alcove going forward. Ladies way behind those from Gilded Splendor, further back credit account. Trivial Lass up on the outside of it, two lengths to True Rabbit from Sparkling Fun. And Excited Angel last of all, around the turn at the 1300 metre mark and Queen of Melbourne let out. By a length now to Gourmet Lady has got to hit up. Gilded Splendor over on the inside and Alcove is three deep. Committed to go forward now Alcove and she goes up outside Queen of Melbourne when they back the speed off. They're two and a half Gourmet Lady, fourth on the inside Gilded Splendor. One and a half Trivia Lass followed by Lady's Way. Then credit account the fence and two to Sparkling Fun, True Rapid. And two lengths last of all Excited Angel down the back. At the 900 metre mark Queen of Melbourne about three quarters in front of Alcove. True Rapid third from Trivia Lass taking off out wide with it Gourmet Lady and then Lady's Way. That first First 848 of pretty even tempo at the moment. Further back credit account off the fence. And there goes Excited Angel around Sparkling Fun and True Rapid. 600 out now. Queen of Melbourne just in front of Trivia Lass and Alcove there in the centre. A link further back in the race. Excited Angel coming into it now from Ladies Way. Credit account back to the inside. Try to get out from Sparkling Fun. 350 out now. And here's the Angel. Excited Angel looming up now to Trivia Lass and Alcove in the centre. Credit account trying to get out from Sparkling Fun. Excited Angel out wide. Hit the front from Alcove, 200 to go now from Trivia Lass. Then further back, credit account, 150 to go. Alcove fights back. With on the outside, Excited Angel, stride for stride. Alcove comes back on the inside, gets its head in front, and Alcove. Alcove's kicked again to win ahead to Excited Angel. Two lengths away, third is close. Uh, Trivia Lass and on the outside, Ladies Way, a gap then credit account. Gourmet Lady from Sparkling, Fun, True Rapid, Queen of Melbourne and Gilded Splendor. 
Winner number eight, Al Cove, at five dollars for the win and one dollar eighty for the place. Second to two, Excited Angel, one fifty. Third, either nine, Trivial Lass at ten eighty, or three, Ladies Way, three fifty. Eight Al Cove, two sixty five and ninety. Number two, Excited Angel, sixty five. Those for third, nine, Trivial Lass at four ninety five, or number three, Ladies Way, one dollar ninety. More from there shortly. Adelaide takes. <laughs> Race 6 Adelaide, 637, 6 Fighter Bay, paid 180 for the win and 90 cents for the place. Number 3 Hero win 90 and 3rd to 7 Star of Scorpio, 325. The Quinella returned a dividend of $3.20, trifecta $108.50 and there were no scratchings. Race 6 Adelaide, 637, 180, 90, 90, 325. Quinella, 320, trifecta $108.50. He uh, went to them very quickly, say she's got a nose in front when they turned but Alcove wasn't to be denied. Looks like a dead heat coming up for third. Yes, it's a dead heat. Dead heat for third here between three ladies way and nine trivial ass. So eight, two. Eight, two and nine. Now, correct weight Perth. It was a half length ahead, 123.27. Correct weight. OK, so it's eight, two. Please note in three and nine. Dead heating for third there in Melbourne. Eight, two and a dead heat three and nine. 800 the win, 84,800 the place. Two, three, four selections. Race eight, the last... The Richie Field about to be dispatched. They're off. Baggio a little slowly away from an inside alley and the same for Espinosa. Big Dreams and a committal. Two of the early leaders over the top will head them. Cape Statter's right up there early. And Mighty Tango and Social Ruler starting to poke through and not far away as Ruslan. And then Crathy on the inside, a length to one equal. And then a gap to Espinosa, followed on the fence by Baggio. West End is out of his ground early and the same for Innocent King at his arm. Onto the course proper, 9.50 to go. And Mighty Tango leads over the top narrowly. Third Social Rule and Crathy. A length further back comes Ruslan, Big Dreams wide, so's Committal, and then Cape Stad Espinosa Baggio. About two lengths, two unequal, and then West End about three as arm and three quarters Innocent King. Down to the 650 in the Bill Ritchie, and Mighty Tango claps on the speed. A length and a half over the top, two lengths, third as Social Rule, Crathy the inside, one Ruslan. Two to Big Dreams and Committal, Espinosa, Cape Stad unequal, Baggio, West End. Azam is second last, and Innocent King the trailer straightening up now, and over the top, left. That rep goes to the front. About three quarters of a length. Second posse is social rule. Crathy the inside and Ruslan joining in. Two lengths committal and big dreams but Ruslan race clear and down to the 150. Ruslan put a length over the top social rule. Big dreams trying his heart out but it's all Jay Cassidy and Ruslan and Ruslan to the line a convincing winner from over the top. Third big dreams followed home by social rule. Crathy unequaled Espinosa. Innocent King a good performance followed by West End and then Cape Stad and a Baggio further back committal. Mighty Tango second last and his arm was last. Double eighty five dollars ten. Six Ruslan on the super tab, two twenty and eighty. Uh, go again, two twenty and ninety for the place. Number thirteen over the top, one dollar five and two big dreams, one forty five. In the second, over the top written by L Cassidy has paid one dollar ninety. A number two big dreams written by Glenn Boss will be third to pay three fifty. And gee, I got on to Innocent King coming home well. Gee, I hope he comes back for the uh, connections. Mr. Sang and uh, trying to carry Jordan. It was his first start since uh, the Gold Coast Hollingdale Cup. And uh, in an unsuitable race, he, he really motored to the post in great fashion, Innocent King. But the winner, Ruslan, has walked in by Ideal Planet from Coco San. Is trained by Johnny Morris. I suppose that's some compensation for the defeat into third position of March here in race six today, the George Main. And Roos Landers, the numbers are official, 6132 is by Ideal Planet from Coco San. A brown gelding four, trained by John Morris for his wife, uh, Victoria, Ara Bood, P. Jacobs, Mrs. P. Coppelson, and Ill Woolhouse, and uh, Jim Cassidy up, beating. Number 13, over the top, Bay Gilding 4, Success Express, Burgundy Dancer, Gay Waterhouse, Larry Cassidy. And the third, Two Big Dreams, isn't he an honest horse by Habituate? From Free as a Cloud, a Bay Gilding 6, B. Mayfield, Smith, Glenn Boss. The fourth went to number 9, and that was Social Rule. Number 12, Crathy ran fifth. The margins, one and a quarter lengths, a short neck. One and a quarter lengths, a short neck. The time, 122.23, 122.23. And that's a pretty good gallop. The track records 121.3, race records 121.6, and the last 635.57. Pretty evenly run race, really, because the first 635.41, last 635.57.
Exactor in New South Wales, $18.20. The Quinella, $8.30. And the Trifecta, $157.50. And here's Jim Cassidy. First back to the gate on Ruslan, having his 14th start, his sixth win, and has had a second and third to boot, and take his overall prize money with 40, nearly 41,000 today, uh, 190, about $230,000 he's won for his connections. We'll take a short break and go to Rod at the Interstate. Deck. OK, we'll have a look at the update. Race 7, Morfordville 1, Brinkman's image, 6 and 2.